another stranger. Are you Vault Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Yes. Yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Since you are a vault -Tec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. You only have one dose? That is correct. There used to be more. But they all expired. Sadly, the organic compounds necessary to make more have all deteriorated. Thanks for the cure. It is my hope that this cure finds its way to someone who needs it. Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Do you need something, madame? How are you doing? I find myself wanting to set out again and see the world. I am tempted to do this on my own, but there is so much danger. I hope we can renew our partnership. For science, of course. I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get underway. Have fun, you two. Don't pick any fights I wouldn't. Well, I hope to not have to pick any at all. I have some time. I've spent much effort gathering information in our travels so far, and my cell diagnostics have come to a green conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. I'm sure your research isn't that bad. You are polite to say this, but if something does not change, my efforts will be mere stagnation. The greatest scientific minds of history, the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. If there's a way you can do that, you should. In fact, I must. If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. I'm willing to help, Curie. And you save me once again. If you find someone, a brain surgeon, an artificial intelligence programmer, or someone who is an expert in matters of the head, please bring me to them. Doctor, my, my friend here needs your help. Oh, I'm not a mechanic. What could she possibly want from me? Oh, this doctor can help me? Greetings, doctor. I wish to download my data and core programming into a human brain. You... you want what? Is she serious? Curie has a lot of pre-war research data, but she can't continue her work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems, I have no capacity for the human trait of inspiration. I've never considered anything like you're proposing. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. We translate those from the brain to computers and back all the time here. It's how the loungers work. Her personality, though, all the extra pieces of robotic program decision-making, a normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand, well, it's already somewhere between the two. You're not suggesting I... I won't kill a synth. I'm suggesting nothing of the kind. 
allow me to explain. I've worked on synths before, giving them memory wipes so they can live a life free of the Institute. But the procedure isn't always successful. If something goes wrong, it can leave them in a brain-dead state. Living, but with no cognition. I know a caretaker for one of these brain-dead synths. If they're willing, we could try transferring your friend's consciousness into her. I'd like to try. We just need her caretaker's consent. Give me a day to get in contact with them. They're understandably cautious, but I think they'll hear me out. I will stay with the doctor. Assuming all goes well, I want to be ready for the procedure. The caretaker should get back to me soon. She's not one to wait. You're the one that wants to use G519's body? I... I just don't have the caps to keep her alive anymore. Life support ain't easy or cheap, you know? I was gonna pull the plug on her. What you're proposing sounds... a little better. Better than letting her rot. What do you think she would want? Damned if I know. It's not like I even knew her before. Hmm. Since G5 has no one else... For what it's worth, you have my consent. Thank you. I know this must be difficult. Yeah. I'll... leave you to it. Curie. Let's begin. Curie, terminate all non-essential operations. Affirmative. All right. Connection complete. I have access to your friend's memories. G5's already been prepped, so this shouldn't take long. Yes. There. <gasps> I... I... my chest... what is happening? Just breathe. It's an autonomic function. Just let your body do what it must. I... I feel... I feel so strange. Listen to me. Can you hear me? What is your name? My designation is Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer. Or Curie. Is that really you, Curie? Yes. You sound so different with these ears. Good. Very good. Now let's test some cognitive functions. What is one plus two? Three. If I threw a baseball at your head, what would you do? Uh, move. Think of a strong memory. The first that comes to mind. Tell me about it. <sighs> Dr. Borrow was very old. He was the last living scientist in my section of Vault 81. He was on his bed, very weak. He said to me, Curie, you must... And he died before he finished the sentence. Oh, my insights feel peculiar. What is that? You might be feeling grief. For a friend. This unit has no friends, but... There. My chest is tightening when I think of poor Dr. Borrow. The operation appears successful. But I think it will take a lot of adjustment for your new friend. She may need your help to make the transition. Thank you, Doctor. For this opportunity. Sure. I enjoy talking with you. As do I. I owe you so very much, and I do not mean to sound ungrateful, but I fear I am barely holding myself together. It's all right. I'm here for you. Thank you. That means so much. Becoming a synth is just so overwhelming. At first it was a struggle just to master basic functioning. How to brush the teeth, how to operate with only two hands, etc. But now I am full of inconsequential thoughts, feelings. How do you do everything with this whirlwind in the head? I hope some of these inconsequential feelings involve me. Yes. No. And see, now my head goes ever more. Spin, spin, spin. You make it look so effortless, like breathing. But for me, it is so hard to focus, to do research. And the inspiration is as elusive as ever. I fear I will never contribute anything to the world. The world? Not so sure. But you've certainly made a difference to me. More feelings. No words for them. 
the saving grace in all of this is you. As a robot, I had much appreciation for you. But now, it is deeper. I am still loyal. But now I do this because I want to. Because you are my friend. So, just friends? Nothing more than that? I feel very funny. I must cut this short. My eyes, they are malfunctioning. Adieu. Heads up. You need something, yes? Hey there. Do you have time? It is important to me. You're pretty distracting yourself. <laughs> I had a point. A reason. Oh, yes. My control of feelings is worse than before. And you, you are no help. <laughs> With your teasing of poor little Curie. But it is not just you. Sometimes a simple compliment. Nice hair. And I am flustered, confused. Other times, people suggest the strangest and most lurid things, and I am even more confused. Why do people do this? Because you're so cute when you're confused. You are not making any of this easier, you. Oh, I must get a handle on this if I am ever to advance my experiments. I can think of better things to get excited about. Oh, that's so... No, I will not let you derail me. I beg to become a synth for a reason. For science. To be able to make real progress in studying the medical arts. I have had a breakthrough. Using a new strain of mute fruit, I have discovered a way to greatly improve the restorative properties of steam packs. I realize this is not earth-shaking, but it means that inspiration does exist. I know it wasn't easy, but you did it. I find my head full of notions. Experiments. Many will fail, but maybe I will make more discoveries. And you have given me this capacity. And beyond that, so much more. The world is full of life, possibilities. You are very dear to me, my close friend. And I hope I can return the many favors you have given me. What we have between us is deeper than friendship. My very first thought in all this excitement was, I must tell you, it wouldn't feel real until I shared it with you. You know, you mean very much. Oh, I am so terrible at this. It's okay. You mean a lot to me, too. I dared not hope. When we are apart, I guess and second guess. I should be only thinking about this achievement. Instead, my thoughts, they linger on you. I love you, Kiri. And I love you. The world seems so very bright. And I cannot wait to see what becomes of this. Hey. Do you need something from me? What do you wish to talk about? Are things okay between you and me? I thought the greatest challenge to advancing science would be the limitations of the human brain. But it is instead you. So deliciously distracting. That's all for now. Not a problem. Let us continue our journeys. <laughs>